Thank you all very much, and thank the press for being here. We're going to go private now. At the tail end of the president's remarks today about cybersecurity, he was asked about Afghanistan, and he made a I think joke. Peter asked him that question. The other Peter did, and he made a joke. So what's so fun? Well, I think the question he was asked, if I remember correctly, was about uh, when he will provide information about a decision on August 31st. I don't want to paraphrase the question. If that was an inaccurate description of the question, to a lot of, people watch. of course, it's a very important question. And I think what he conveyed, uh, what is that um, he has not, well, what I can convey from here, I should say, is that uh, as he stated yesterday, and as the Secretary of State just stated, we're on track to complete our mission by August 31st. So what the hell is going on? If I may be so bold to ask, Joe Biden's asked, you know, what are we to do about the Americans that are stuck in Afghanistan? And he smiles. He smiled. He gave a nice little smirk. You know, it was a little more cynical than that, but he gave a nice smile, no remorse, and bam, the mic feeds cut out. You know why? Because the people pulling his strings are terrified of how he would answer a question like that without being rehearsed. So they cut his microphone. Has that ever happened? Have we ever had a president giving a speech and then all of a sudden a crucial question is answered and the mic's pulled? No. I mean, he didn't say anything incriminating necessarily. He said, oh, you'll be the first to know. And, and that was about it. But let's think about the situation. He was asked a very crucial question, and instead of allowing him to answer, whoever is calling the shots cuts his microphone. And now he can't answer the question, or not real audibly at least. So, what's going on? What is going on with this presidency? Why are they hiding everything? You know, I'm not a conspiracy theorists by any means, by any stretch of the imagination, but you don't have to, or, or let me word it this way, you have to be blind and have your head in the sand to not think that they're hiding something. And let's be realistic, you know, the, the, the president is the commander in chief of the military and military carries out secret ops and everybody shouldn't know about everything. But I think in terms of getting our people back home from Afghanistan, we should know what the plan is. I don't personally know anybody who's in Afghanistan anymore, but you know, there's thousands of people who want to know what's going on with their loved ones and they don't know. And just imagine if you were, you know, let's say, you know, one of your loved ones, your spouse, your kid was in Afghanistan and somebody asked, you know, and somebody just like what happened, he was asked, so what's the plan for getting our people home from Afghanistan? And then you're watching the TV and you see the president of the United States smirk at this situation. Man, what a slap in the face that is. That would piss me off. I don't have anybody over there, but that still pisses me off. You're gonna smirk and try to tell some pompous ass joke about you'll be the first to know. Man, I'd like to slap that guy silly. Let me tell you right now. Oh, that's just, there's something wrong with that. With that. There's something going on that they don't want you to know about. There's some, there's some evil, evil, cynical shit going on. So, I don't know. You saw the video. You know, take it as you want to. But to me, it just looks pompous and evil and 
or he doesn't know what the hell's going on. So they don't want him to answer the question wrong necessarily, so they cut his microphone. It's the President of the United States. He's the most powerful man in the world. You know, if that was Donald Trump and he knew and he realized somebody cut his microphone, he'd be going backstage and finding out, hey, turn my mic back on. I got things to say. Or he'd just talk louder. Well, nobody talks louder than Donald Trump. So, but, you know, it's not the same, you know. The, you know, Joe Biden in charge is an absolute joke. And everyone's talking about impeach, impeach, impeach. Well, not everyone. Some people. If everyone was talking about it, it would start to happen. But part of me feels like this whole debacle, part of me feels like this is part of the plan. You know, I... I truly believe that by the end of this administration, it's going to be Kamala Harris as president. And I think that eventually this is going to be turned into an impeachment trial and it was done on purpose. And he was, I think he was railroaded. So we'll find out. Maybe this is the first steps to him being impeached. And I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because then we'll have President Kamala. But, you know, I is it all part of the plan? Is this Afghanistan thing all part of the plan to justify impeachment? Or is he really this clueless and his, you know, the people pulling the strings know, so they literally cut off the microphone so he can't say anything stupid. I don't know. You decide for yourself.